Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn how to create view in SQL. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies and if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. And without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda, that is how to create views in SQL. And if you're an aspiring data analyst looking for online training and certification from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading industry experts, then search no more. Simply Learn's professional certification program in data analytics from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM should be your right choice. For more details, use the link in the description box below. With that in mind, go to our PPT. Now, how do we create a view in Excel? So it's as simple as creating a new table. The syntax is as follows. You just need to add create a view and your customized view name as the statements. Now, what are the statements? Statements usually have the statements of what you query, the query statements. For example, select star some data what you want to fetch from your table. Yes, I totally understand select might be a really short one, but sometimes you might have to add some where conditions, you might have to add some sub queries and the entire query length might go up to 10 to 15 lines. Right. Now you might not be able to execute that query for every single time. So if you create a view for that and if you just write select that particular view and you get all the data. Now let's understand this more easily by going through a practical demonstration on MySQL. Now we are on the MySQL workbench. We are having a small database, which is flights. And in that we have a table by the name flight data. And this is the data which we have added into a flight data, right? Let's run this and get the table. So here you have the information on your table about a few flights. So you have the airline, date of journey, departure, destination, total stops, additional information, etc., etc. Right now, Let's say if someone asked you to fetch a flight from Indigo, which is completely non-stop. Control enter. Now you have this, right? Now you face this query for once. And what if someone asks you to get this data for 10 times a day? Maybe you have 10 clients who are asking for the same information. Would you write the same query 10 times? No, right? Similarly, here you have, let's say someone wanted to go to Delhi and they ask you, to get the information for the flights which are going to Delhi. And someone asked for the flights which are going from Bangalore to Delhi. Right. Similarly, you have many of such things. So what would be helpful here? So let's say you add one more query which reads as create view. Now the customized view name could be anything. Let's say view indigo non-stop as your query right let's quickly execute this query and it should create a new view for you the new view is currently done similarly let's try to create a new view again create a view Let's name it view flights Delhi. Kolkata. and the Bangalore Delhi flights right now you have the queries ready or the views ready now all you have to do is just get the select statement star from the view name this is simpler right just control enter and you have the data over there now let's say somebody asks you to fetch the data for flights from Bangalore to Delhi. All you have to do is select star and 
you should be having the data there you go right as simple as that so that's how you can create a view in sql and in case if you wanted to drop it let's say you don't need it anymore so it's simple just drop the view and the view name let's say you want to drop this particular view paste it there and control enter there you go the view got successfully dropped now when you try to run this query you will not get it as simple as that and with that we have come to an end of this session on how to create views in sql if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the resources like the code we added and the ppd we used then do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest and until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.